the best chicken for a medium person, mm. middle man, yeah. Yeah, is Cruella. Because Cruella, you can put it, put it on free range as you have met them here. Yeah. When the, feed, the feeding uh, is very expensive, they, you can keep them in the house, but later on you leave them out, out yeah. uh, to have uh, sunshine and then eat the grasshoppers, eat the grass, you know. So uh, that's the advantage of, of, of Cruella, really, mm. that they can either be kept inside or on free range. <laughs> brought you another experienced man. I've, seen, I've known him like for 10 years and above. He's so good in poultry. Yes, I'm yeah. so glad to meet you. Thank you. Redirect. You're most welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So mm. first, first, first give us a brief introduction about yourself. Um, it's Abdi Alex, yeah. uh, former head teacher Muiri Primale. Okay. Um, I retired on 1st uh, May 2020 and uh, I decided to to go in the poultry and uh, peasant farming. Yeah. Uh, I've been in poultry for about 25 years. Uh, 25 years, uh, yeah. which means I've ever looked after many types of chicken, broiler, local, uh, these brown ones are the layers, mm. but I decided to go on croiler, croiler. mainly, yeah. 25 years. So yeah. tell us your experience in poultry farming. In for poultry farming. Yes. Um, I tried, as I said before, that mm. I tried all types of chicken, mm. but I found out that the best is uh, uh, Cruella chicken. Mm. Uh, reason why, it has so many advantages. By the way, Cruella came from India. And uh, when it came to Uganda uh, and it landed in Entebbe, um, they found out that uh, they had to experiment it in five districts, Gulu, uh, Mayoge, okay. Kamori, and other two in the western Uganda. Mm. But to find out whether they shoot our environment, mm. you know, yeah. our situation in Uganda. And after experimenting on different farmers, they found out that uh, it does well in Uganda. And the reason why I chose uh, uh, Cruella, as I told you, mm. one, Cruella has two genes. It has the gene of the local mm. and then the broiler. The local gene helps it lo to resist against diseases. Okay. And the broiler gene helps it to grow faster. And uh, uh, it takes very short time to mature. So that's why I chose to take up the Cruella chicken. Uh, but you see, most people are now focused on broilers. Mm. Yeah. First of our viewers, or oh, the farmers out there, mm. how how can they start up if they want to start poultry? Uh, if they want to start poultry, actually, what I've been telling them because I've been on uh, any uh, NBS radio, mm. I've been on UP, uh, sorry, OPS. OP radio, oh, yeah. uh, Apex, yeah. City FM. Recently, I've been on Baba FM. Yeah. You know, mm. I've been telling them that it's very important to have the basics before you go in poultry. What I mean with the basics, they should get some training. Yeah. It's not a matter of just going in poultry, tomorrow you lose all the, the chicken and you tell others that chicken is very difficult, you know, to lose. So there is need to train them. And I've ever told them that you must have something to inspire you. What inspired me was uh, Proverbs 21.5, which says, good planning and hard work lead to prosperity. You plan well, all right? You work hard, you are going to prosper. So there is need for them to have the basics, the, 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 the training. Actually, in training, I have gone ahead to write a book, mm. caring for corollas and turkeys where there is no uh, veterinary doctor. Wow. I wrote that book. That and it's helping many farmers. Yeah. Because it has all the basics, mm. how we vaccinate, uh, the dimension is, I want to look today about 100 birds. Mm. What is the dimension? It's 15 by 15 feet. 50 birds, 10 by 10 feet. 1,000 birds, uh, that is 20 feet by 100. So mm. they should know the basics. They should know how to vaccinate. They should know how to mix feeds before yeah. they go in port. So how much does it take? Mm. How much does it take for someone to start? 
Um, for someone to start, we normally recommend 100 birds for someone to start. Mm. And that's about 2, two, two million, two to 2.5 million. You, you can be able to begin for a while. Okay. Yeah. And you start up something that you multiply and yeah. multiply. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Yes. That is very good. Yeah, that's yeah. But of course, it can be cheaper if the maize goes down and they concentrate mm. or you use the soya bean because soya bean is cheaper compared to the concentrate uh, so now tell us what is better because some people use free range mm. they buy some big plots of land and then they use the bus just to gun feed from the well, and then rearing them in the poultry houses What's um the best? actually that's that's, the that's why i told you mm. that the best chicken for a medium person, mm. middle man, yeah. Yeah, is Cruella. Because Cruella, you can put it, put it on free range as you have met them here. Yeah. When the, feed, the feeding uh, is very expensive, they, you can keep them in the house, but later on you leave them out, out yeah. uh, to have uh, sunshine, and then eat the grasshoppers, eat the grass, you know? So uh, that's the advantage of, of, of Cruella, really. Mm that they can either be kept inside or on free range. So what are the opportunities in poultry farming? Opportunities in poultry farming? Yeah. Um, the opportunities are that uh, uh, when you look after poultry and uh, you go with the farming, the opportunities uh, or the advantages mm -hmm. are that you can, you can, what you get from the farm can easily go from the poultry farm. It can go in the garden. Yes, yes, you know that's a very big advantage, really, and uh, it can help you also develop yourself, look after your family very well, mm. eat the eggs, you know, and be able even to to do what, to 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 to, to do other other opportunities you want. For example, I looked after chicken, Croida chicken, in 2013, 1,000, 1,000 chicken. And uh, from from around uh, from around September to to December, and I I, I sold a cock by that time twenty five thousand, yeah. and a hen uh, about twenty thousand, yes. and I got twenty two point five million. That's good. That's good. And I was able to go to Japan auto traders to buy uh, a car. Yes, I bought a car. I bought a car. And uh, I drove it for seven years. That's so inspiring. That was a new one. Yeah. I bought it and drove it for seven years. Yeah. It helped me also to educate your brothers. Uh, I have about ten children. Seven of them have graduated. I am remaining with only three. So it has so many opportunities. It has so many advantages. It can help you really. But after COVID, my business went down like other businesses. Mm. If America's business yeah. or economy can go down, how about, oh, <laughs> you Ugandan, know? Yeah. yeah, Ugandan. So mm -hmm. I had to sell the car and bought uh, uh, an incubator. Okay. You'll, you'll also see that. Yeah. Because I knew the incubator could bring in money. So the car by that time became a liability. So I had to buy a car. Yeah, car. yeah I mean an incubator, an incubator yeah. which is hatching chicks. Yeah. Okay, mm. Mm. that's good huge. Eh? Yeah. That's so inspiring. So that means in poultry you can earn a lot from it. Yeah, you can earn a lot, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Someone because can even become a billionaire. Oh yeah, because mm. one time when I was still a head teacher of Muiri Primary, yeah, I looked after about four hundred chicken layers. They could lay eggs, and uh, I could take to the machine before I bought my machine, mm. and I could get about 50, forty to fifty. 40 to 50 trays of eggs. When I found out that uh, I could sell those 50 trays at 20,000 each, that's 1 million a week, and that's a month about 4 million, uh, I could take uh, about uh, an expenditure of 2.5. So when I remained with 1.5, I knew mm -hmm. the poultry business can really do much. It can help you. To, to develop very quickly. Wow, that's inspiring. Yeah. So tell us, how is the business moving mm. compared to back then, back those years? Because I've, we have seen so many things have changed, mm. but the way people are the way people are rearing this poultry has changed. So what? 
Yeah, the, the, the problem is most farmers really dropped out from both uh, because of the cost of maize uh, plus the concentrates. Because the concentrates by now, we used to buy them at 4,000, now 5,000. And the maize could be at 1,000, now it would be 2,000. So most farmers dropped out. But you know, they don't know the methods of, of farming. Yeah. Farming needs uh, uh, sustainability. You need to have sustainability in a way that, uh, for us, what we have done to, to, be, to, to remain in the business is we are farming. We are farming, as you will see, my gardens. I uh, grow maize for myself, mm. for my family to consume it, and then for the chicken. Okay. And then I grow soya bean. Soya bean is a very good nutri nutri nutritious uh, crop, crop yeah. that can help you feed your chicken very well. So mm. I wish all the farmers could know that soya bean is a very good ingredient to help you feed your chicks. They could not get out of the business. They could continue to be in the business. So what has changed from, the, how has the system changed? Is there any difference, like back then, how we used to rear and up right now? Oh, yes. Mm. It, it has changed in a way that mm. now I had a very big number, mm. about 300 birds, but now I have about 100. Yeah. Uh, that, that's what I even advise other farmers. Instead of getting out of the, the business, you rather reduce the, the numbers so that you keep in the business. Because by the time you come back in the business, everything will be very new, all right? Yeah. Uh, for example, now me, I had chicks. If I do it with the, my clients at this moment, by the time I want them to come back, it may be very difficult. Yeah. So that's why I have to keep in the business, you know. So tell us about the technology. Is there any modernization in poultry? Yeah, you, you know, research is taking place every time. Mm. Uh, so since there is research and experimenting on issues, mm. it has to change. It is changing with the time. Uh, as for now, we are trying to, to use herbals. Use herbals in poultry. Uh, instead of using the European drugs, you mm. know, we are using herbals. There is a herbal called uh, uh, poultry sip. Uh, a herbal called, uh, I'm forgetting its name. So Ugandans have also woken up. Yeah, to uh, we, use, we use garlic, mm. we use uh, uh, tangawuzi, we use uh, uh, nimu. We mix together and give the chicken, mm. and they are, they, the chicken become resistant. So there are technologies also. Yeah. So how important is this business to the community? Um, how important? Yeah. Uh, it's very important because we are we are training them <laughs> to, to, to use modern ways of farming. They are getting out from the local way of mm. keeping chicken. Uh, it's important that someone can be able to have easy chicken. And once they lay eggs, mm. they can bring their eggs so that I hatch them. It's very important. It helps them. Instead of going to buy the chick at 3,000, mm. if someone has his own eggs, it can help him develop the number as quickly as possible. Yeah. So what are the challenges facing them, what most farmers are facing? Uh, as I said earlier on, feeding is a challenge to many of them. Even the diseases, especially when you don't uh, vaccinate, all the diseases, about eight to nine diseases, the chicken will die. And that's why we say, I even urge you, uh, the government, let it be able to train farmers before they, they give them even the entanic, wow, the, this one, which has just come with uh, a mioga. A mioga, and there is a recent one, I'm forgetting, P, P what? Uh, there is a, a recent one which has just come. Mm. I urge them to train farmers before they give them the money. Otherwise, people will eat up the money. Yeah, without knowing to use it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you've told us about the types of chicken, mm. the challenges. So tell us, how is Uganda performing generally in poultry? Because we are seeing agriculture is the backbone of Uganda. Mm. Most people are into agriculture. Mm. So how is poultry business performing? We are performing very poorly. Very poor. I, I can't hide that. Mm. And I've ever urged our government to put, to give priority to agriculture in the budget. Mm. Because our budget is given a very small portion of money, you know, and yet this is an agricultural country. Mm. Uh, furthermore, 
this agriculture should begin in a primary sec sec section, secondary, then university, you know? Once it begins from primary, secondary, and university, people will make it as a job. But you know, people are just keeping poultry for seasons. They keep poultry for Easter, for, 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 Christmas, for Christmas only. But yeah. this should be a job because our country is an agricultural country. Mm. There is need for us to make it a real job. So how is the market? Market, mm. uh, currently the market is, is so good. Market Actually, is good. I, I'm sympathizing with the people during Christmas, there will be no chicken. Mm. Is it like seasonal or just throughout the entire uh, year, the market is good? Um, the market is good. Mm. It's only COVID that had made everything to be very difficult. Mm. But uh, currently, the market is very high. Reason, there is no COVID. Mm. And people have looked after the chicken are very few. So there is market now. Remember, introduction of chi I've eaten chicken. Mm. Uh, graduation, I've chicken. also chicken. I've eaten chicken, then weddings, weddings then yeah. Chituda, Bathy and day, whatever, one, birthdays, and what. Day. So the market is now very good. Mm. Very, very good. The market is very good. Yeah. So tell us, how can someone become a very good farmer? Um, as I said earlier, mm. Knowledge is power. Let whoever wants to enter into farming mm. get knowledge, get wisdom. All right? When you get wisdom, you will be able to do the job when you know it very well. First, get the information, you know? Start, first, get the training. You will be able to become a very good farmer. Okay. Mm. Wow. Mm. So, any last words or encouragement or something? Um, like that? I would like to urge you, people who fear to enter in the chicken, to come up and do chicken after training mm. in a way that uh, we, we help our farmers. I, those who can manage can take a one-day chick, which I sell at uh, mm. about 2,500. Or you take those of one week, which we sell at 4,000. Uh, that of three weeks, that's 60,000 and four weeks, 70,000. So you can take what you can manage. You know, if you can't manage a chick of one day, you take a chick of one, one month or four weeks. So that for those ones cannot, cannot disturb you so much. Or oh, two weeks, two weeks is also okay because they are from the worms. Now they can stand on their own. So it's better for you to take what you can afford and begin slowly and end big. Start small, end big like the Chinese have a saying, uh, when you are going to move 1,000 steps, you begin with one step. Uh, some people have failed, want to begin with 500 bats when you have no experience, and that one will, will bring you problems. It's better to begin small and you end big. Wow. Begin small and end big. Yeah. Always do what you can afford to yeah, do. That's <laughs> I've quoted those best words yeah, from that's Mr. Mm. Elder Alex. I call him Elder Alex because yeah. he's my elder. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much for educating us Welcome. with that. Yeah. Yes, this has been Farm Smart mm. on Smart 24 TV. And my name is Chris Chitakaman. We have been covering poultry, farming, yeah. and you have learned a lot. Mm. We, have been, you have been, we have been interviewing our expert. He's an expert. I call him an expert. 25 years mm. he has been in poultry. So. Yeah. I think you've learned a lot from him. Remember, agriculture is the backbone of Uganda and it's very profitable and it's a very good business to run. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Chris Takaman. And I remain in subject.